Okay, there we go. Yay! I think I'm here. Can you hear me? See if I can hear me. Hey, Dilly. Oh. See if I can hear. You. Yep, I could hear me then. Okay. Apologies. There's a dryer going off in the background. Hey, Tracy. How you doing? Oh yeah. Okay. Just. That one's not working. I'm just trying to get things right for myself. Is everybody uh, ready for me to do a, um, a resin? <laughs> and the next question is, is this set up okay? Resin, good, 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 good. Hey, Shawana, welcome. Bit nervous on this one. <laughs> Doing something I absolutely have not done before, so kind of nervous. Um, I have done a little bit of work with resin. Um, the Amazon resin that I brought was giving me headaches. I used the UV resin from Miniature Sweet last night and no headaches. So I've got my fingers crossed um, that the this resin I am going to have to bring that up. Sorry guys, just trying to... Trying to work out what's going on with my screen, which is not being very nice. I don't want any of that. Okay, I have no idea what's going on with my screens. I'm hoping you can still see me. There we go. I'm just trying to work and trying to see myself and I'm seeing too much stuff. Rightio, and just about there. I need to be able to see chat and all of that. But it's not happening for me. <sighs> okay. So who else have we got joined? Uh, Rebecca, hey, welcome. Living Dangerously, doing a resin live. Um, dearly, doing more than Living Dangerously, doing a resin live. It is more that doing a resin live and it's 9am. And I start night shift at 6pm. <laughs> So I have to get some sleep. <laughs> so yeah. Yes, I'm down here somewhere. If I get it right, I might be able to look like I'm picking my nose or something. I don't know. Um, I did what I could to try and get this set up so you can see. Uh, let's get the hammer. There we go. That's what I'm going to attempt. That Which is this. Yes, that's me. And there. Um, <laughs> so a tad nervous and no gloves I've been working without gloves but I've worked my way around that I actually have <laughs> alcohol rubbing alcohol um, that I spray on my hands that cleans my hands up okay um, I think I've chatted for long enough for anybody that wants to join me they can join me I'm uh, going to start this. Now, There, I got 
from Kawhi Crafts. It's run and owned by one person, Liz. She, I ordered the starter kit and the uh, um, the December, her very first kit she put together. Um, <laughs> my nails will be fine, dearly. I worked last night with resin. My nails are fine. They're all good. Although I did discover one day I had glitter stuck under my thumbnail. Um, but yeah, Liz turned around. She emailed me and said, you've got the starter kit and the fish one. Um, you're going to end up with two lots of UV lights. Do you want me to swap out one of the UV lights and give you an extra one of these with stickers? So, which she did, which was fantastic. Um, very considerate of her. Um, I already have one of the UV lights, which is one of these, but this one is much better than the one that I got from Amazon. So the question is with this one, I've looked at different um, ways people have done these and hang on, what's, are you using a stream yard? What is a stream yard? Got me confused there. Um, yeah, what I've seen other people doing is they've put rocks in the bottom. I'm not that keen on going and getting some rocks. I don't have any decorative rocks. I have a choice of plain. I have a choice of putting some shells in the bottom, which I'll have to dig through for some small shells, which I think might be too big. Or if I place them right, it'll be okay. Oh. To film. Um, Shawana, I'm using Streamlabs OBS. Or the other option. I haven't opened these up yet. Right. Yes, I have to go under the light to be able to see this stuff. Let's see. The other option is to put gems or rhinestones in the bottom. And have it have a base that's sparkly. So these are actually from this is from Sophie and Toffee. But instead of doing gems, I could possibly put some rhinestones in. So guys, which one should I do? Shells, gems, or possible rhinestones? Have a coffee while you guys think on that one. Okay. Nobody's voting or am I not giving you guys enough time? Um, in the way of rhinestones, what else have I got? I'm trying to look at the rhinestones that I do have that might be suitable. I have some beautiful, I don't know if you can see them. Second one, okay, so Dilly's saying either one, you like both. Shawana saying the second one, which is this one, which okay that's the starting point I'll put my seashells away oh I'm getting nervous now so I've done the big thing I've done all my not all my research um. <laughs> these trays are so handy <laughs> um. okay let's just put that aside for now um, so I've seen what done some of the research and the idea is that I initially put a layer of resin and then I'll put the gemstones on and then build up with fish um, to make it 3d the fish so that's one fish but it goes one fish that one that one and then that one on top um, I've seen these and I <laughs> Thank you dearly. <laughs> no need to be nervous, just family. 
I've seen, um, well, most of us have seen Rachel Ray's desk, um, her door, and I can see these fish going in there. So this might be a helpful thing for Rachel Ray, um, whether she's interested in this or not, um, but might help her out. Okay, so here's one I prepared earlier. I really carefully open those up. These um, are in the black bottles. That's what I didn't do. These are in the black bottles um, because it stops, like I can do work with the UV resin light, the UV light, and it won't set them. So yeah, uh, until you put it under the light. Okay, first one. Oop, here we go. Hopefully I've put enough in. Oh, this is good on camera. I can actually see where it's going without sticking my head over it. Okay. Hang on. I'm just trying to get this up reasonable height. Sorry, guys. Not seeing much here. Hey Lizzie, how you doing? Okay, so you can see that I've got that coating up there. I am hoping. Now one thing that I have learnt is bubbles. <laughs> and I don't want to burn wood. <laughs> Alright, let's put that one under the lamp. You can't really see the UV working on my nails there. Okay, another layer. So it is just going to be one at a time, but at least I can put them under the UV lamp one at a time while I'm working on the next one. So it actually works out quite well. Oh yeah, 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 yeah! Come on. Here we go. Rightio. Oh, bugger. Poop. Excuse the language. Oop, bit of smoke. <laughs> I've just looked at this one and I've just spotted in the corner. I didn't, mm, don't know if you can see the bubbles in that. There we go, you can see them. And that was what I was trying to pop, but they've sat in the corner and missed them. Just put that under for a little bit longer and just want to check for any more bubbles. And I can actually see them better on the camera because it zooms in. No bubbles? I think I've got them all. There's something there. Oh yeah. <laughs> it was gentle language, dearly. It was just a simple word. It wasn't too bad. Okay, swap these around. So this resin is still a bit, a little bit tacky, but that's okay because the little gemstones probably sit nicely on there. Okay, here we go. Some of those bigger ones I don't want out yet. Okay. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> what do you reckon? Just a sprinkling? Might actually. Oops, I don't want that one in there. Put some of them towards that side, put one in. What I'm looking at is how I'm going to do it is that I'm going to put one fish here 
and one fish there and leave that with the decorative I think okay so let's another layer of resin you made it to live Kathy did I give you enough warning did I give you guys enough warning I think I I think I gave you enough warning this time I gave dearly about 24 hours warning okay with the the bigger clear ones they don't I don't think they show up in the resin as well okay I think I may have popped those bubbles hope so oh bugger okay it doesn't look like I'm gonna do anything in preventing the bubbles in the corners with this wood I think that's just going to be a natural thing <laughs> Dearly, we've had a nap first. That's good. Um, so I'm going to try and put the bigger sprinkles there. So that's enough in that one. And here we go. See, I'm good. I don't have any resin on my fingers yet. It's all about learning how much um, <laughs> when to stop. <laughs> okay. So I do have a silicon mat down. I do have a smaller lighter, but yeah. Okay, let's get that balancing. Whew. We put that one aside and I'll work this one. Or do I go this? Which one's better? That one? That way? Hmm, the little fish there over top of the glitter sparkles. That's still a bit tacky, but here we go. Pretty sure I have the sparkles and fish stuck to you. Um, yeah, <laughs> I've been working on those cover minders. <laughs> oh, and haven't they been fun? Um, I've, I've got I think I've got I've got four lots four people I've already I've got their cover miners all finished and completed um, I did have to stop briefly um, because of the headaches I was getting from that resin okay He's going to go that way. What do we think? He'll look better soon. <laughs> Trust me. Trust me. Yeah. Okay. Let's use this one. I get the resin. Up and over him. Major concentration here. I don't know if you can see it on my face. I think a little bit more resin. Okay, and the thing is, I've got to make sure I don't get my fish <laughs> fish mixed up. Oh gosh, that reminds me of yesterday. At work, we have repetitive things we say at work, 
um, which is how we manage to remember what people say. And I couldn't say fresh set yesterday. And that was uh, my train driver that I was talking to found it rather amusing because I got tongue tied. Okay, so this one I'm going to put the fishy going there. Big fish there. I'll put some resin down first. I think it came out as fresh it almost a fresh shit <laughs> over the radio so yeah my train drivers had a good laugh at my expense yesterday <laughs> okay let's see so that first one I didn't put the resin on the bottom that's I don't think I did I don't recall it oh. Come on, fishy. Fishy, fishy, fishy. Here we go. I just can't get the tweezers under there. How good are the expressions on my face at the moment? Hello, Crafting with Beautiful Chaos. Thank you for joining. I'm hoping you guys are, are liking the fact that I'm bringing resin to the channel just as something different. I know, oops, uh, those gems are too big. It's affecting my fishy tail. It's great that we're seeing people in the diamond painting community are actually starting to add different stuff. We're all doing our own natural thing, what, it lead, what each thing leads us to, what we do, what it leads us to. Okay, didn't burn the plastic. An unresin question. Crafting with beautiful crayons. Go with it. Go far away with the unresin question. Uh, that's that one over there. I'm going to see if I can get it three dimensional, dearly. That's the big trick. Um, and I'm going to put that fish there. So I'm looking at resin there, resin there. Uh, which is the top and which is the bottom? Okay. <coughs> Hang on. Let's see. How to confuse a person. Put things that are so close inside together. Trying to work out which one's the bottom one. I think it's this guy. What I can do is go, no, not doing that one. That one's too hard. <laughs> um, there we go. See, I can tell which one's the bottom and the top. Okay, trying to order a blank sticky canvas but not how to figure out how to tell them how many diamonds you need per skein of floss for a haid. What I did for my blank canvas, I just worked out my size of it. Um... I'm actually not quite sure. I mean, mine. I my when I designed my blank can did my blank canvas. I used my own program, so I was able to keep that um, just trying to work out that way. We'll go that way. Um, my the program that I used because I didn't go with Hay. Um, the program I used kept me. Um, Gave me everything I needed to, to know. Oh, get in there. Okay, that's that side. Give that one a little press. All right. This is where the fun bit comes, where I try and line these up. Because 
So what I need to do is try and get... So bear with me, guys, while I try and line up. Nope. Okay, there we go. Ah, stuck to the tweezers. Now the trick is to try and line up the fish eyes. Just wait for the camera to focus because this is how I'm going to see it. They are not lined up. Talk amongst yourselves while I'm trying to get this right. Okay. Here we go. Benefit of a camera. Not quite. There we go. How's that? Don't move on me. Don't move on me. Don't know if I'm putting too much resin on these or not. Um. Hmm. Okay. Hang on. I can do better than that. Oh! Um, hang on. Threadbare. My link doesn't work. Okay, hang on. What's the other one? No, that's not working. Um, there. Okay, this is the, the company that I, this is the website I used. Hang on a sec, guys. I'm trying to find it. There we go. That's the website I use, threadbare.com. But... I just went to try and go into their pattern maker and I can't get it. But that also gives you closest DMC color and also gives you, I think, your stitch count. I'll see how, see how that goes. And back to trying to get this in line. I think I've got it in line. Okay. Got the resin all over it. Whoop. Oh, that's okay. That's only that's that's a bottom fish at the moment. Okay, let's see how we go. Yeehaw. Right, yeah, so that's that fish. I'm now onto this fish. Uh, yeah, Tracy's DP and Crafts is doing a hey, um, four kids at is it four kids at three four seven? Rebecca, she's doing a hate as well. She's doing a massive hate, um, but she's not. So she has. 
ordered the hide and she's building her colors as she goes um, people out there in the diamond painting community are actually um, have been sending her um, the drills that she needs she's working on it and as she's coming across some she's using her own stash but she's finding that people are actually donating um, their drills and she is purchasing when she's really requiring them but um, she didn't purchase them all up because hers is pretty big okay stop talking for a second Did I manage to get that straight up? Typical, I'm going to go and move it now and probably not get it. I think I got that one right straight at the beginning. <sighs> um, there are no worries. No worries at all. Um, we are here to help everybody out. Um, next fishy might do a little one do this little guy what do you reckon I don't want to do I was looking at the white ones but I don't think I'll do the white ones white ones too pale for that so I might do this dude gosh I think it's the top one I need to put down first Yep, it's a top one. I hope. <laughs> uh, I'm like, like well, uh, it's like that saying, men are like a bookcase full of all sorts of useless information. Okay, let's see if we go. Now, let's position this duty. No, he needs to come this way. Whoop. How's he positioned? I think that's good. <sighs> Tell I'm having fun trying to make sure I'm getting this right. Oops, nearly melted the plastic. <laughs> Special little veggie mite that I am. Okay. Let's put that back under the lamp and I'll put that fish with that so I'll make sure I don't mess them up. Another layer of resin. I think I've missed some chat here along the way because I'm concentrating. Uh, figure out the colours. Um, that website that I gave you is really great when you shorter drills and you want to try and match them up and get the next closest available. That's really, really good tool to use. Okay. And Lizzie's kidding up. Dearly thinks the fish is cute. Kathy likes the fishy too. Ralphie is demanding your attention. Popcorning, I'm saying. I love watching guinea pigs popcorn. Okay, let's get these eyes in line. You go up a bit. That's the one thing about the camera. Having the camera there, it's helping me. Helping me with it, getting them lined up. And next little fishy. I'll tell you what, working with UV resin is so much quicker than working with the two part epoxy. Okay. Here we go. Did 
So I'll just make sure I've got that lined up. So that's lined up. Camera doesn't want to focus on it. Okay, okay. I'm just going to put another layer directly over top of that. I'm just got to even that out a bit. <laughs> ah, yeah, Kathy, you torched the resin. <laughs> I'll tell you what, I've had some smoke off some of the stuff I've been doing. Okay. I think I still need to put a bit more in there. Just try and get this nice and, and level for the next layer. And get that fishy tail down. Whoop. There we go, just put it out of place. How you doing, Pippa? I think that looks about right. Before I torch it, just no resin on the top of that head. Whoops. I am liking this process though. Hi. Here fishy fishy fishy. Another good layer of resin before I put the next one down. So what have I got? I've got one layer of the little fish and two layers of the big fish. This is so cool. bit more resin. Okay. Right yeah, let's put the next one on. Yeah, I'm definitely, yeah, definitely using the right fish. <laughs> okay, and let's get this. Oh, my fishy fins are going out the door, over the edge. See, it's going over the edge. I'm just going to roll this up over his fin cheating <laughs> we resin on top okay and nope that glue there Okay, received your moulds too small to do much with. Think two trays went missing in the mail. The bag tour will have to raise a dispute. Hard to find the right sizes. So I have to ask, did you use AliExpress for or Wish or something like that for your um the resin pipper? I, I don't think I can recall you saying where you're getting your resin from. You you Okay, hang on. Let's concentrate on this one. Let's see if we can get this little fishy to line up. He's definitely not lined up. Okay, I think I've got that one. So that's that dude. Rightio. Uh, I might just put... Another layer on top. 
I'm not torching this. This seems to be not bubbling. It was more that first coat on the wood. And he's just, my fish went for a swim. Okay, there we go. Oops. Oh, okay. Um, Pippa, no, this stays in these. This is um, this is a bold design for it. And what I will do is this will actually this is cut. This is called a ser This is actually a serving tray, a Japanese serving tray. Um, so you'd serve sushi or something like that on it. I'm actually going to be using it on my desk. Hang on. There we go, just rolling that resin around. I'm going to be popping this one on my desk and possibly putting some drill tools sitting on it. Because everything runs away on my desk. I've got so many different little containers. And I've just got to add another one because, you know, you can never have enough containers. All right, so next little bit of fish. Some of the, I might disappear off camera briefly at one stage and show you some of the um, cover minders that I've worked, that I have worked on or am working on that are just about done. Um... Cover mind is a lot fiddlier. How are we going? Is that looking just about right? How cool is that fish? That's so cool. Oop, that one's done. Okay, next one. My fishies tails are meeting up. Hang on, let's... Right, yeah, I think they're about right. What do we think? Turn the tweezers up the right way. Righty up, there we go. Razor on top. Just a little bit. Try and do it gently. <sighs> Me fish, they're swimming. The fish are swimming. I will say, doing it as a live is cool, but I'm not keeping up with chat, I can tell you that much. I'll have a look at chat in a sec. Okay, there we go. Okay, so that's that one's done with the fishes. <laughs> uh, rightio, here we go. Rightio, how do we go? On? Oh, there's not much chat going in anyway. Everybody's either doing their own thing. Whoops, upside down. Don't put things down with fingers. Won't get resin on fingers. Okay, here we go. I'm not going to position these fully yet. I think I learnt that one. When I put my second little bit of resin on top, I will then position a bit better. Whoops, there's an air bubble. Bit of resin on top. Okay. 
Okay. So funny. It's just considering this is the first time I've done this. I reckon that shows how easy it is to do this stuff. Okay, fishes are all good there. Right, that's gone. That's done. That one. There's one more hiding. There it is. Hello, boots. And I actually do have some bubbles there. There we go. Right. Now I can't get it to balance. Okay, seen this that Rebecca's done these before, never known how they did it. They didn't show the process, so I'm enjoying this. Um, Dealey's not keeping up with the chat either. Got a two-year-old infant. Infant in a guinea pig suit on <laughs> Chewing on the keyboard, Dealey. Jeez. Okay. Um, what I do have now is... So I've got the focus camera. So I've got the fishies on. I'm just going to put a bit of greenery on. And then I'm going to have to fill these up with a bit of resin to really level them out. That one there. This one here. I think that looks about right. Yeah, gosh, they're a bit faint. But they're above the fish, so that's okay. Spreading some of that resin around a bit. Up. Okay, up. And up that way. <laughs> My plants are moving. Okay. There we go. Pop that one under the lamp. So it's pretty cool to see this process. Like I've, I've seen them myself and gone, how are they done? And then um, looked at, you know, you look there and going, oh, I'd love to, oops, might help if I do that, hey? I would love to see um, how it's done but then to be able to actually do it is just brilliant and it's so easy I will say that unfortunately um, where I got these from I I don't know whether I got the last whoops 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 whoops, whoops. I don't know whether I got the last kit hang on uh, but they are sold out of this fish one this dish okay um, I did lift that one up that one will go in there Slightly over his fin. I. Who's going? Who's running away? Dealey's back. I uh, see you, Shawana. Sorry, I missed that one. Um. Uh, okay, Kathy. There's not as bad as your friend's cat who did a wee wee. Oh, okay. oh. Um, he's not two years old, but he has the energy and sass of a two-year-old. He's only about eight weeks. <laughs> oh, cool. Um, 
everyone's saying good night to Shawana. Oh, let's get off my tweezers. Um, and just put a little one up there. Up there, there you go. Pack it into the resin. Oh, he gets antsy for me to put him back in his crate when he has to pee. <laughs> oh, thank, that's a good thing, dearly. That is a very good thing. Okay. And there we go. So this is still a bit tacky to the touch. I'm just going to fill this up a bit to really give it that proper let's get this up And that just form bubbles on top. I'll just knock my raise my thingy over. Okay, so that's one done. I'll just finish this one off with a bucket load of resin. Not adding any more to this now. But I do have a fin that's coming all the way up. Oh, that's special. That's been, yeah, that's been cured. Hang on. Sorry, guys. Paper towels, keep them in hand. So, definitely, dearly, moving along with it, there's um, basically, I'll probably put these, if I can get this to balance now. Been able to get them to balance the whole uh, rest of the time, they're not balancing now. Hang on a sec, I've got smoke coming from somewhere. Oh, there's heat coming off that. I'm not going <laughs> to... There's actually heat coming off that and you can't see it. I've done too many layers too fast. I'd say what I haven't done is let it cure enough in between. But basically that one is done. Um, this one will now go out and sit in the sun. Same with this guy. Fill that with a bubble under there, but look at it, yeah. This guy will go and sit under the sun as well to cure fully. So there we go. How cool and how easy were they to do? How long have I been online for? There's a bit of, there's warmth to them, the build up of resin, um, there's warmth to them. So, but they are done. They are touch dry. So yeah, and I will be able to sit some drill pens on them. Hang on, coffee time. So that's how easy it is to actually use a resin it's very easy um, I do have some bubbles in but that's okay um, you can see the bubbles over where the tail is the fins are sticking up but they're under the resin but it's got that 3d effect of them those little stones have made a difference I may 
I can actually see the reflection that the, there we go there's some pocket marks in there I think that's because that one just overheated too much still warm to touch and then this guy here focus camera stop looking at the wrong thing there we go so you can see the bubbles on the end there he's a little bit off but that's okay so yeah there we go that's those um the next question is i have the other one that i got the sophie and toffee elves box were you guys interested in seeing some of that possibly used because I've only been online for an hour and I kind of allowed about two hours to do this. I need to get that resin off there. Sorry, I just had a bang outside. It's actually somebody starting a motorbike. Okay, so bear with me then while I... There we go. Look at that. No resin on that. Yeah, got that off. The great thing about resin so I have spilt resin on the tray I'm gonna pop that one there that one there out the way where is it you can see the resin that I've spilt on um, on my mat there dearly I don't need to get to sleep yet I won't go to sleep until half past 11 12 o'clock and that'll give me three hours sleep I've already had like 10 hours sleep okay the blue light sets the resin the, the UV light sets the resin and basically it peels off um, where's my round oh, ah, that's what I was looking for my round tray that up and you just peel it off so long as it's a silicon mat <laughs> okay, okay. tell you what I'm doing four night shifts in a row dearly it's gonna kill me So how easy is that to clean off? Hey, Crafting with Peppers. Thank you for joining us. You've missed the first half of the show. Hang on. I was just emptying that into my bin. Whoops, that bottle's over. So that's one process with the fish. So Peppers, what you've just missed is doing the 3D fish. Okay, so that's that. I'll move the kawaii stuff over. Now, I'll just put their fish stuff away. Try and be neat and tidy. Um, do what I can to try and be neat and tidy. One thing with resin is if... Um, you have to be on to cleaning up after yourself pretty well straight away because that's when you pick up the fact that you've possibly spilt resin somewhere and then you actually don't end up with all sticky stuff everywhere okay so that's all out the way now the elves starter box so the difference between the kawaii crafts starter box and the elf starter box is the uv lamp where i don't have to hold it the L starter box had a torch which i've already taken out um the kawaii one i got this little silicon mat uh, let's open this up the um, 
Here we go. This is me saying you should neaten up after yourself. And I've got a mess still on the desk. There we are. Um, the Earl's Shaker Box comes with this tiny mat. So, you know, they're, they are both small, but they're both silicon, and I like to have a silicon mat underneath anyway. Um, right. Okay, what do I work with? What am I going to do? I have coloured resin in here. <laughs> and I have shiny things. Okay, here we go. Box is empty. The only thing that I've taken out of that that out of that kit was the UV torch but I now have three UV torches the kawaii kit gave me the pink torch which is really good really good um, yeah dearly those mats are good to clean up okay or oh. okay what do I do do I do So these are shaker molds. Um, which are pretty cool. And hang on a sec guys. I'll be back in a sec. Did you hear that? I bumped myself. <laughs> Rightio. Do one of the beasles. Okay. Because... What I just thought I'd quickly bring out, because I did just go and grab the magnets. Um, thought I'd share with you guys how I'm going. So this is some cover minders. What do you think? Magnets are on them, so they're not going to come off. Some of the magnets are inside them. And hang on. That's a glow in the dark one. So what do you think of cover minders like that? They're pretty cool. And they are light. Yes, I got fancy. I got a name in one or two. The I've messed up that one. That one just needs some cleaning up. But there we go. There's um Bezel, the magnet is on the back built in and uh, I also have mag magnets built into that cover minder there's some glow in the dark pigments that I've used as well so just for anybody that is coming back um, and is receiving some of these this is what you're getting so it's not just one cover minder it's a few cover minders just so that yeah no it's just something that I like to do okay so where did we go with the bezels or the molds? Okay, hang on. Right here. Um, here we go. Link to the L's box. I didn't put the link to the L's box. Um, what I do have is... Bear with me while I find it if you want to go with the elves box um, hang on try and find it try and find it come on elves box I have hmm okay hang on 
where is it I'm trying to find the link I know exactly where it is it's on one of my own videos <laughs> hang on guys won't be long while I find the video it is in Sophie and Toffee subscription box okay so if you go to this actually helps me out if you want to go with the subscription box where's my live stream there they this one here this link here will get you the L's box you get three dollars off and I for every three people that go with the L's box gives me a free box and that'll then work for you if you do the same thing so um, basically if three people purchase a box through that link I my next box will actually be free um, so that's just something for for the elves box if you are just wanting Sophie and Toffee Uh, Sophie and Toffee this one this link here is another referral that I've got so they do the affiliates and I did mention it it is on my video um, I'm not sure how much I get off for this one but you guys get 15% you use this link the first time you use this link you'll get 15% off your order um, and I have a order from them that I placed so for the speed of delivery I placed an order with Sophie and Toffee when did I put it I ordered Friday the 4th it was shipped Friday the 4th and it was supposed to be delivered Monday but I had it um, changed to being delivered today because basically if it arrived Monday or Tuesday I wouldn't be home to receive it so I changed my um, delivery so basically it shipped on Friday and sh would have been on my door, door Monday if I hadn't changed things so yeah okay um, Pip has disappeared okay I was going to turn around so the Sophie and Toffee subscription box, the first one I got, um, what was it, how much, $34.95 and I got moulds, I got resin, I got a lot of stuff in there, so just for anybody that is going and looking, but yeah, you'll get $3 off if you use the link for the Elves box but the link for the Sophie and Toffee you'll get 15% off and both of those links will actually help me out um, with <laughs> the resin because the resin's not cheap <laughs> the resin is fun personally it's worth it but yeah excuse me while I drink my coffee I'm not wearing a headset and uh, I think the sounds okay now isn't it so what did we decide on Beazle Okay. Did we go with the bezel? This is where it's going to be challenging <clears throat> because I haven't done these before. Well, not be well. I actually no, I have done a one bezel, but these were these are bigger. When you put them together, you can put those on top need to go back to my bigger screen there we go so you can put the heart and the circle on top the that comes out to too far so if it's not level so I can't put it straight down on a surface to work on it um, what I do need to do is this is shaker film um, trying to remember acetate I think is the other name for it so I'm just going to um, okay 
question is heart or round and silver or gold which one what have I got to go inside of it what are they giving me to go inside of it what did I get oh, I just got I got these okay yep okay so question any answers any takers round silver okay round silver I'll put those ones away <laughs> you wanted round silver there we go those ones back in there I'll put that in the box out the way and put these away My resin's cooled down now. I will actually put that back on there. Ah, come on. If you don't put them in there properly, they don't fit in the bag. Ah, hang on. I've got round silver, round gold heart, silver round, silver... So what have I got? One, two, three rounds. Three silvers. Sorry, Pippa. Outvoted. <laughs> hey, JJ. Didn't see you sneak in. Didn't see you sneak in at all. Okay, so here we go. <clears throat> Maybe I can do the gold heart for Pippa next time. Yes. So... Um, these guys, when you work with these, let's get this out of the way. I need to actually cut this to fit inside. Serious concentration there, guys. Oh, where's my good other scissors? Oh, heck. Okay. Radio. Okay, hang on. Thin type. That's the. There's two different types of resin in here. Um, if you, if it'll focus. So that's the one you use with silicon molds, <clears throat> and that's the one. That's just the hard type resin. Is it gonna focus? Has everybody explained what focus means? <laughs> Crafting with peppers, no issue, keep lurking away. I'm one of those people that tends to lurk. I'll cop in and say hello and then um, I get busy. Oh, I hate opening these things. Does anybody have an easy way to open these things up? Apart from getting a knife into them. Into the bin. Just trying to say, it's a very light bottle. The resin is actually great because it's so light. But, yeah, that's got a hole in it. That's good. Okay, so now cut this out, but I want to cut it on the inside. Is there concentration on my face, guys? Gosh, that's not very round, round. It's almost a stop sign. I don't think I drew it very round anyway. <laughs> okay. Take a bit off. 
네. bit off there. Beads of sweat on my brow. <laughs> uh, feel it that way. Okay. Far out. Do you know when you trim stuff and you think, yeah, I've got it, and then suddenly you trim too much off one end? I think I've just done that. That's okay. I can solve that issue. I just can't, can't get... Where's the scissors? There we go. Right. Um, I have some resin on my fingers. I've just got to get it off. Whoops. Okay. Also putting attention because it's interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's better. For those that didn't see at the beginning, um, spray alcohol. Uh, my guessing is it is not for getting drunk off of, but the fumes are pretty good. All right. So with this tape, there's actually. Can you see it? There's a layer on either side. <laughs> Did I just swear then? <laughs> uh, okay. Hang on. Sorry, guys. I'm going to be to the side for a bit while I try and peel this off under a lamp. Ha <sighs> Come on, there's supposed to be tape on either side. There we go. Alrighty, there's one side. Now I can't see it again. Okay, there's one side. So what I'm going to do, just going to put a little bit of resin in that. And use one of their their tools so they've given a couple of tools and they're really really bendy but this is where the torch comes into play for use so this is resin is going on pretty thin and yes I've watched people do do this but I haven't taken that much notice. So this one is I'm winging it. Okay. And on there. And the torch. Whoops. Um, when you're using a UV torch, <laughs> any loose resin, make sure it's behind something so that the uh, UV is not actually going to set on you. Okay, what have I got to go in this? Okay, need goggle and a hard hat. Hang on, what have I missed? <sighs> so also putting attention because it's interesting. Deal is just about finished up a small beaded cross stitch. Uh, if you had gloves, that wouldn't have happened. Yes, you're right there. I could see you doing this with gloves and goggles, <laughs> maybe even a hard hat. <laughs> uh, don't forget the lips. Okay. I need a goggle. I need goggle and hard hat. No. Actually, I do. I have them when I go up to site. Um, hmm. Whoa, is that in it or on it? Hang on. Hey, crafting with Christy. 
Just those wimpy con finger condoms for any. <laughs> okay, so that resin is actually set on there. What I now need to do is I'm going to leave that protective layer there. I'm just trying to work out what I'm going to put in there. Five seconds, guys, or less, maybe more. This is flying by the seat of my pants. <laughs> Definitely. Um, I'm, I can do two things. One is shaker, so I can put oil in it. Um, or, actually, hang on. Kathy, you'll like some of this. Are you still there, Kathy? Um, mom, mom, mom. Where are they? Bear with me. Nope. Nope. Okay. You're still there, Kathy. Good, good. How's that steampunk stuff? <laughs> okay. Where are we at? New emoji from the computer sucks. Okay. What new emoji? Yeah, I can't see what new emoji. Okay. So inside this do I put a flower on the base do a level of resin and then put some stuff in there and some oil so it can shake around with that and um, and some glitter in there as well I think I might do that. That on the bottom, then some little fancy goldy bits. But okay, hang on. Just gonna just trying to work through. I got all sorts of crap in here. Excuse the language. Although that's not bad. Blue, green. Silvery grey. Okay. Actually, I might do. I'll do blue. Blue flower in there. Oh, I don't have a rough room on my desk. Hang on. Portable desk. A chair that's a perfect desk okay so I'm gonna put this flower in the bottom <laughs> okay I'll put one of these in there there's a couple of these inside these so what if I actually pick one up there we go so in the center that hmm bear with me guys let's see if I can get this a bit more technical for you so you can actually see what I'm doing there we go is that better Do I put, okay. <laughs> okay, now there we go. I'm gonna put, love heart in there. I have a little crown, but oh, you can't see that. There. Hang on, the crown's upside down, of course. Okay. 
concentration here. Okay, bring that down a bit. What else have I got? I think that's it from that one. Where's the lid? That one there. I've got quite a few little embell gold embellishments, so I'm just trying to see what else I can put in there. I think that's enough in the bottom. Actually, no, there needs to be one, one more in there. What are we going to do? Butterfly. <laughs> um, there we go. And I still can't get in the right spot. Now on butterfly, go right way up. What do we reckon? I think that's as the base. That's cool. Have any Victorian charms or flowers to put with the steampunk? Um, actually, that's the same one. I've got that one, that one, and the steampunk one. I had the Kwai. So that's moons there, Cathy. Uh, I add too much and it's going to be too busy so I'm going to be good so we're going to put a layer of resin on there I'm just going to spread that around now I'm going to have to Turn that hard up right way. I want to make sure that that flower is covered. That's got it. Okay, I'm going to cure it like that when the camera actually focuses on it for you. It's not going to focus. Gosh, just doesn't want to focus. There's too much there. Okay, I'm going to cure it like that. Pop the torch on it. Hang on, what have I put? Do you have flowers? Uh, whew, that one's got a strong smell to it. That's going to be interesting. <gasps> Guess what? I've got resin has leaked out of the back of this. Charm wasn't set. <laughs> <sighs> okay, hang on. Now see this is... It's leaked out the back. That's actually covered. That's leaked out the back, but that's okay because I can peel that off. The great thing is, like the other side of this, so I only peeled off one coat off that, off this sheet. The back coat still has its plastic on it, so I'll be able to resolve the issue with that. But it's just peeling the bits that poured came out are peeling off. Um. Hang on. Christy, if you watch the big... 
go away. I didn't say Siri. One moment. It's Wednesday, the 9th of October, 2019. <laughs> hmm. So what this is, is this is what I did earlier. I did two of these, Christy, in the resin. Um, so you'll have to go back and watch to really get a... And these are actually hard now. And if I put it that way, there we go, level. They're really cool. I'm just putting one more little bit of resin on this one just to make sure that this is coated fully after having some of it come out. Oops. Do not use your fingers because you end up with sticky fingers. What I will do with this, once I've finished this, I will put a magnet on the back and um, I think I might send this out to somebody. Uh, okay, so let that set. Put a resin under there. So with the shaker moulds, um you can get shaker mold liquid uh, you can mix clear glue and water hey Catherine welcome um or use baby oil so i'm going to use baby oil in this and that should be set basically set it's not fully set okay now put that under the lamp um so what am i going to put inside that's i don't need that anymore inside the shaker mold i will put some glitter but what i'm going to do is put some of these so i am use, working on this i'm not using the red glitter I'm going to use the clear. What I'm going to use is so there is those, but I'm not putting those in. They're just little balls. But what I'm going to do is put that's going to focus. Camera, be nice. There we go. Some gorgeous little stars oh. so I put that in the lamp I just did I'm gonna put the star I'm gonna put some stars in and hang on. Ah. what I might do is just get everything together that I'm gonna put in there so just a few stars I have done a cut tried to do a couple of shaker molds slightly differently to this and found that I put too much in them okay so there's the little stars um, what else do I put in there I got quite a few lots of little bits of embellishments and that go into shaker molds. We're just gonna some bow ties there. Oops, oops! I've got a gold pieces come out. Trust me, drill tools are really handy for some. These things are really handy. Okay. That's, I've got some butterflies. Where's the butterflies? There's the butterflies. A couple of little butterflies. Because I put a butterfly in the back one of that one. Not going to use that. Three. 
three butterflies. What else have I got that can go in there? Um. <laughs> okay, so there's the little butterflies. Uh, Catherine, yes, it is quite nice at the moment. What do we got? I don't know what it is in our weather, but I have this gauge that says uh, Fahrenheit, 78 degrees Fahrenheit. Not too bad, not too bad in the way of weather. Um, what else have I got? No, I don't want to put any of those in. Where is it? Hang on, what do we got? What do we got? Sorry guys, my mind is working and trying to figure out what to put in, in this side, inside this um, shaker mold without going overboard. Okay, hang on, I will put some of these in loosely. So what do we got? What's that one? That's Bells. Hang on, there's a rose there. And, whoops, <laughs> two roses. Two lots of bells. Three, there we go, that'll do in that. Whoops, whoops, whoops. <gasps> Gosh, they're so small. I think that one ended up on my lap. That's gonna be fun to work out where it went. Um. It's a blue flower. I'll put some of these in. They'll come up black and blue in there. As you shake them. And I've got some blue, a little bit of this blue glitter there if it's, if it's not going to mix up. Anyway. Whoop, that's too much. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I'm going to put all of these into the shaker. If we can get the camera to focus. Not happening. Okay. Here we go. Let's go back and read. Also put that in the lamp. You just did. Did it? Good question. Balls. JJ Space. Balls. Where's the balls? What balls? Um, 24 degrees in Medina. What is it? Hang on. What? What is it? Where I am... In West Swan for Australian, it's 23.8 where we are in our area. Expecting 31. We turn the air conditioning on and going to bed soon. Um, where's my, where was I watching? There we go. Okay. So, bring this guy back. We're going to, hang on. Not actually happy with that yet. It's not happy at all. That's still too. That still needs more resin in it. I could still feel the flower, and I didn't want to be able to feel the flower. So that's better. Okay, put that under the resin, under the lamp. This is as bad as me with the magnets. It's 
excuse me while I do this. <laughs> um, okay, so for inside shaker molds, um, clear glue with water. Oh, I haven't got the, don't know the ratio there. Um, shaker molds. Pepper, you're in Tasmania. It's going to be freezing in the middle of summer. <laughs> um, baby oil, clear shaker mold, uh, shaker mold oil, or clear glue and water. So, um, all depends on your preference and what you can get your hands on. Ice don't have any shaker mold liquid yet, so I'm using baby oil. Um, so that gets us still move here. Um, come on, this is the only thing about a new UV resin is good. It sets quickly, but it's still not fast enough. Uh, okay, just trying to work out. Do I need to put another layer of this on top or not? No, the bezel, this bezel is going to go over top of it. Thinking hard. Uh, dearly, this this isn't happy. This uh, this one's not giving me a headache, or I'm not feeling it yet. Anyway. Sorry, I'm hearing a clicking from somewhere. Not sure where that clicking is coming from. Okay. Thought it was that. Might be that. Okay. Let's put this under the torch just to... Just for a little bit. Oh, uh, wondering how I'll seal the shaker in. Um, so that's where I was just, it is this thing that's clicking. Um, what you do is either side of it you put, so I've put one sheet down already of this uh, shaker mold paper or plastic. And you put one on, on the other side. <laughs> um, <laughs> I'll go back to that one that I just read. Um, so you should seal both sides that way. Or I should be able to seal it with just the um, cover on top. But... That's about it. So, here we go. Let's push these down and didn't use that one with resin, so that's I'll use that. Drill trays come in so handy for all sorts of stuff. We'll just get all that in there. No, that's not doing it. Let's find something that's got a bigger scoop on it. On that one. That's better. Um I tell you what, I do like this tool from the, so this is this little tool that I've got here. It's from the Kawai Crafts. And that are probably good to pick up a, just a couple of drills if you need them. But here we go. What I do have is that. And what I am going to do, which is what I should have done in the first place, is for the bottom covering, I should have done it this way. So 
So this will give me the right size this time. So this is what you use to seal it up. Okay, hang on. Now, there we go. As Pippa's asking how I seal the shaker in and Deal is glad it's not the fact that I can hear her in my closet. Yes, we know that you are in the closet. When are you going to come out, Deal? <laughs> Okay, come on. This one will seal a lot better because I've got this shape so much better. So this is going to sit in there. Need to take a bit off on the inside now. Okay, uh, oh, 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 oh. Okay. so uh, yeah, Pippa, I will be uh, putting a magnet on the back of this one. Okay, so that's going to fit. Come on out. There we go. And bear with me a sec, while, guys, while I put this under the lamp to see where the plastic film is. Right, yeah. Plastic film off. So from here, where are we going? Come on, there we go. Get that plastic off my fingers. Uh. <laughs> oh, I just finally got it, Kathy. You're probably as a crow in your past lot past life because you like the sparkle. Where is it? Okay, hang on. One more tool I need to go and get. Okay. That's not long enough now. That I need to pour into my judgment of distance is not good so uh, I have a little syringe here that I use I don't want to put oil on the edge of the basil so when I seal it up I don't have oil getting in the way. And this just helps me get the aim better. Because I know if I pour from a bottle, <laughs> I'm going to get oil on the edges. So I have put baby oil in that. Now that little bit of resin that I put to the side. I'm going to cope with that end to try and seal it up. It's 
took me a bit more. Hope you guys are talking amongst yourselves there. Oh, I'm getting some of the resin in the oil. I think it'll be okay. I hope it'll be okay. We'll soon find out, won't we? Right. Turn this up out of the way. Oh no, I put too much oil in. I've got oils come on top. Oils come on top and that's what I didn't want. Okay. <laughs> Thank you dearly. Gosh, I'm going to have to try and seal this somehow. Okay, that's got to come up. I've got to absorb some oil out and then try. Hopefully I'll be able to seal it. This might just take a few extra layers of resin to seal this up. Let's see if any of the resin's going to seal. Oh, I've got a gap there. Okay. I've actually got a gap on this side. Okay. So Dealey's hiding until winter passes. Uh, winter's already hit you guys, hasn't it? The syringe is brilliant. Um, and... That tip is plastic. This is actually a craft syringe. Just so that you're aware, that's actually a craft syringe. Um, you go to a chemist or a pharmacist here in Perth, and if they're a reputable pharmacist, as the guy told me, if you're if they're a reputable pharmacist, they will not send sell you the actual needle part for a syringe. So yeah. How long does fall last for dearly? Doesn't last long for you guys, does it? Okay, let's. I'm going to put a coat of resin on top. Hopefully, this is going to do what I need it to do. Just about used all the resin in that tube. with Kathy winter on its tail <laughs> uh, by the way I'm ready uh, we've got another nearly two months before we hit summer we're in, we're in spring oh, that resin gets hot Okay, let's see how we go. Okay, hang on. There we go. <laughs> Fall is, yeah, falls at three months, give or take. Yeah. Well, that's, that's our length of our seasons. Okay. Think. Nope. <laughs> uh, it's not sealed in. Okay. I am going to go with um, Just going to go with the Kawaii silicon. Just, it's just a tad thicker. Okay. 
and I need to get my nail out of that before I get it on my fingers. There we go. Okay. And pop that on. And I'm going to have resin pouring all over the sides. It's definitely uh, <laughs> it's definitely a big learner for me. Okay, let's set that up. Oh, back on the mat. Ah. Uh. Now I'm getting resin all over my fingers. Not as clean as that koi. Okay. That's what I didn't do. Far out. I've still got a layer. I've still got the um, code, plastic coating on that side. And I can't get it up. <sighs> Can't find my tweezers now. Can't find anything. Come on, get up. Sorry, guys. It's not going to come up. Okay. That's not going to come up, so I'm just going to... Obviously, I'm winging all of this. Get resin off that before I put a torch anywhere near it. <laughs> yes, dearly, I should have used the finger condoms. Too late now. All right, let's see how we go. I'll just see if this will seal it this time. There's not as much oil in there. Fuck. I've lost too much oil. Okay. It's actually sealed, but it's lost. I've lost so much oil. Let's see if I can get the camera to focus just on that. Um, bear with me, guys. Just I need to put something behind it so you can see it. There we go. So the idea of a shaker mould is actually a lot more oil to go inside them. But I think it's still pretty. Okay, hang on. There we go. Just need to clean it up now. Okay. Right. Let's get that alcohol out. I'm back on the rubbing alcohol. There we go. Who needs condoms with a well maybe those finger condoms would have come in handy with the alcohol you use the finger condoms you don't need the alcohol on your fingers how's that rightio let's put this now on the front i still didn't manage to get that plastic layer off that'll learn me okay See how this goes because this is going to be here we go Woo, that, whoop, 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 that's not going to stick to my fingers so i don't know if you how much you can see on the camera there 
what I'll have to do is polish that on the top up. Silence in the room as I concentrate so hard. Not the torch over. Okay, let's peel that off. Okay, so there we go. There's the top of it. Is it going to focus? It's just not going to focus. It just doesn't want to focus for me. Sorry guys, bear with me while I try and get this to focus so you can see it. This is when I start yelling at the computer to say focus. All right, anyway, that's the top of it. So what I need to do now is clean up the back a little bit. I'm just gonna get these bits off the edge. Just filing off some of this resin so I can try and smooth it down. And there we go, got it this time. That protective film that I couldn't get off the other one. I'm getting it off here now. which will help me remove that which is there. There we go. Oh, crapola. Okay, so whew, that's the back. Oh, look at that. It focused. There's the front. Wish I'd been able to get that top. Should have persevered with that top layer. But that's pretty. So now, look at the mess on this desk. That's why you put silicon down. Uh, magnets. <laughs> I've given up trying to keep them apart. They just, you know, blend into each other. Um, what I'm going to do is that's a thin enough magnet that it's not going to jut out too much. And resin it. This is going around the edge and it's actually sealing that edge just that bit more. And on the magnet, come on, off. I will one day learn that plastic and mag metal and magnets cause nothing but problems. Okay, there was a bit of, just pop some bubbles. And I am going to pop that on there. But no, oh, I have to move it. Have to move it. 
I don't want to pick it up. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay, so for those that are only just joining, what I will say is, yes, dearly, I nearly said the F word. So just show you these fish again. So these are set and my drill pens are going to sit nicely on there. Got still got that lip on the edge. But yeah. I'm quite sure I'll put some other tools. The tweezers will fit nicely on there. Even that pen there. Whoops, let's keep that in order. <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, how they've come up. They've got, they look pretty cool. So guys, if you're going to, I think you, you obviously you can buy the, what they call the 3D fish if you're going to do the resin. Um, I actually haven't looked specifically for them i just saw this in the kit and went oh gorgeous i want i want them um so yeah that's where i went with that oh, and obviously i've just been building up bits and pieces um i'm gonna actually do a quick little try of something what is it blue and blue and yellow that's purple, isn't it? No, that's green. Blue and red is purple. I'm actually going to pour, I'm just going to pour into the shaker mold. I'm not going to do anything with it. Um, I'm going to use this resin mold though. Um, so this was the cup I used before with the resin. This is the great thing about using silicon. You, uh, get the torch onto it and that's why you need to protect your resin if you've got resin in containers you need to protect them from your UV light because that gets it out that sets it so quickly do I have another one yes I do have another one I just used it hang on guys I'm just going to do one of these shaker molds quickly while everything else is setting. I'm not trying to get anyone into doing resin. Oh, hang on. It's just there if you want to try it. Resin does not come out of bottles unless you take the seal off. There it is. Radio. Lean on that. Let's get some of these out of my way. So I'm stop being naughty. That one's nearly set, so right. Be this be that. Couple of drops of blue. Don't tell me. Come on. No, that's not sealed. That's not blocked. The end is not clipped though. <laughs> Whoops. That's better. I've got a strange feeling my delivery guy's out the front.
did it again, didn't I? Without even clicking the top. There we go. Oh, shush, Bo. Too much red, I've just ruined the colouring. Oh well, make do. <laughs> Can you hear both? <laughs> Hang on a sec, guys. Uh, yes, I got mail. It's actually... Where are you? Sophie and Toffee mail. Ah, that's going to be cool to open up tomorrow. <laughs> um... Delivery guy is not Bo's chew toy. The delivery guy parked in our driveway and no one's allowed to park in our driveway. That's all it boils down to. Crapola. Okay, I'm going to have to do something with that. I'm just going to pour that into the moon and make it a nice dark moon. And then try and... Is it that one? Yep. Try and lighten this colour. That's better. Okay. So that's... <laughs> yeah, the next box. Yes. Um, it's not the subscription box that I've got from to that's coming from Soft so Sophie and Toffee. It's an order I put in... Uh, on well I put the order in on Friday if you spend more than a <coughs> $150 it's free delivery international and that was should have been well it was scheduled for delivery on Monday so basically it was ordered on Friday it should have arrived on Monday but I made them delay the delivery okay so I don't know what this critter in here is. I might do the light top. Okay, here we go. So I'm going to do clear the, the light colour there. Look at that. So instead of wasting it, I'm pouring it into something. There we go. Put that under the lamp, set, and here we go. Still got oil there. So there we go, there's the shaker mold, the shaker, bezel, magnet on the back, and although I'll probably use a bigger magnet than that, um, that here has to be a bigger magnet than that, it has to be one of those. Um, oh, get around the right way. There we go. 
So there's a cover minder. Pretty little cover minder. <laughs> Oops. Oops. Um, yeah, dearly, it's past my bedtime. Oh, no. I'm just going to spray some alcohol stuff on that to get that oil off. I'll give it a bit of time. Oops. Where did I just lose that? Oh, no, it's there. Okay, guys, there we go. Unfortunately, there's not enough oil in there. Here we go. This is better. Piece of paper. There's not enough oil in there for it to be a real proper shaker mold. Uh, a shaker bezel, whatever. But it is pretty, very pretty anyway. So yeah. The shaker here, yes, that is the ring. So if if I, whoever ends up with this one doesn't like it as want it as a cover, it is actually a necklace charm. There we go. You can actually see it. Ah, uh, yeah. So that's that pretty little bling. And I got a mess here to clean up. These molds here. Wow. This is what it's like working with UV resin. This could probably go out in the sun, probably a bit longer, but there's one there that I can do a cover, the, do the plastic either side of it and turn that into a shaker mold. But that's how quick they are to do. How cool is that? And this one has the two layers of colour. So that this one's this one's just basically a very dark moon. This one here, I don't know if you can see it, the two layers of colour with the glitter in it. But yeah. They just need all they need to do now is just put these on the windowsill or put them out the back in the sun and they, they'll set even further. But as Dealey says, I have to go to bed. Um, <laughs> for, for those that, uh, well, most of you guys know I do shift work. Um, and I am only supposed to be doing two night shifts. So I've just done two days and I'm supposed to be doing two night shifts. However, I have agreed to do an additional two night shifts. So, which means 70 plus hours in six days which means I'm going to be knackered by the end of it um, but end results of what I have completed um, where are we going I'm just going to try and get all the yucky stuff out the way and show you let's get this in the right position so you can see what I've done sorry I'm just setting that resin so that and there, 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 and there. So basically in two hours, I have done these two guys. So these are actually called serving dishes, but that's got the 3D fish. Um, the shaker mold, the bezel, with the magnet built into the back of it which I can do exactly the same as that. So that's the shaker mold. And these are just a couple of little things that I did that I could probably put magnets on those and they'd make really small cover minders. Um, and on that note, just as an idea, this might be a bit heavy as a cover minder. because that's 2.8 kilos. 
Whereas if we go looking at the other cover minders that I did, like that one, which is only just under half a half a gram, sorry, 2.8 gram, and this is under half a gram, so it's still light enough that it's e easy to manoeuvre. But yeah, there we go. Pippa. Um, where are we going? Uh, Catherine's cute, cool. No worries. Thank you for joining me, guys. Um, all the components, obviously, I won't be able to do it now, but most of these components I will... Well, I can list, but I can't list. What I will say is the Sophie and Toffee Elves box, the starter box, has this it has the bezels it has all of those items in them um so that was what was that the the elf starter box has this stuff in it which uh is sophie and toffee and i think i've given the link already but if you are interested in the the link so i'll put the i'll actually put these details into the live there so just know that that one gives me for every three people that order the elves start the subscription box it will actually give me a free box um <clears throat> And then if you're actually buying from Sophie and Toffee, Sophie, Sophie and Toffee, Sophie, Sophie and Toffee, that's the one there that gives you 15% off. And uh, Kawaii Craft Kits. And this is where I got the... Come on. There we go. And that one there is the choir calf kits, which is where I got this from. However, these are now sold out. This was their very first subscription box. Um, I don't have any discount code for these guys, but I've managed to get the discount code for Sophie and Toffee. Um, and the kits... So Pip, Pippa, if you actually have a look at which one is it? That YouTube clip has, shows you what is in the Elves starter box. Use the link in that to get your own set. <laughs> Sorry, dearly. Um, Pippa, use that link to um, use that YouTube link, and all the links below are in there for the Sophie and Toffee. And you actually will see me unbox it so you get to see everything that's in there. Um, and uh, dearly has just sent me an email. Oh, thank you, guys. Somebody's made a purchase. I will say to you guys, thank you, guys. Somebody has made a purchase wow <laughs> okay I don't know who it was don't need to know who it is but thank you if it is somebody in my life really do appreciate it um, and Dealey's email me was do I have to come there and make you go to sleep <laughs> sending this during your life thank you Dealey um, <clears throat> I suppose I should say it um, Let's catch this all later. Um, tomorrow morning, after I've done, after I come home from night shift, I will do an unboxing of that Sophie and Toffee box. And uh, you'll see that one coming up. But I'll clean this up and then I'm going to go to bed and get a few hours sleep. But thank you guys for watching. I really do appreciate you joining me on this journey. Um, and I will catch up with you guys next time. Might do another live resin. This was actually quite fun. Um, 
who knows my next subscription box i'll do as a, as a live so that'll be cool so i'll talk to you later and um 